All right, welcome back. It's the end of November and the temperature has fallen the last couple of days. It's just above freezing at the moment. Uh, yeah, and I'm here just to check out on the progress. <laughs> some progress on the, the roads uh, probably all the mounds to be done uh, and yeah pretty much the groundwork is almost almost complete uh, the fence posts are pretty much ready and they're going to be sent over hopefully later this week um, so we should have them at the start of December uh, and then we can crack on with the fence but uh, yeah for now let's go and have a look and uh, see what's been happening on the ground Okay, so yeah, here we are. Oh, so yeah, obviously the fenceway, this road trackway has gone in. This is, um, this doesn't look like this is not the finished surface. So this is like the bigger blocks of uh, stone. It's like the under layer, so you can see. Uh, yeah, the biggest ones are like the size of my hand So it'll be uh, much smaller pieces will be going on on top and that'll make a, a smoother surface for uh, uh, driving and walking over um, Yeah, and oh yeah, just to point out see this this thing here is um, it, You could kind of say it's, it's a kind of forwarder so it picks up um timber and branches uh, and then loads onto the back of here and you can see this is tracked so it can go in some pretty tough conditions uh, and a forwarder is basically something that takes timber from the forest where it's been cut down uh, and then it takes it out to where it's more accessible for uh, road going vehicles these are these pipes here these are gonna well as you can see there's not so many left but the other ones have gone in where we need to like cross the drains have to cross the the trackways uh, the water will go through these so it doesn't damage the the, the tracks too much um yeah obviously uh, one thing i didn't mention was it's quite foggy today so it's uh it's kind of hard to see what's uh what's going on the one thing they have to be careful of here was there's a big um there's a mains pipe that comes in from this side uh, you can see this and might be able to make out there's a few blue markers so there's a, a mains pipe that comes under here and then goes off in that direction where you can see there's a, like a pile of branches there so we piled up some branches from the ash trees that we had to be cut down from around the quarry we piled them up on where the pipeline is just as a like a wildlife kind of habitat just because what else are we going to do with a load of, of branches uh, and that's not why we're planting trees so it's a good place uh, to create some different kind of habitats with the, with the decaying wood and uh, yeah it's kind of as I expected obviously when I was here last time it was like super muddy here uh, and now we've got this hard surface down it's that's making a big difference so this is the the junction so from this point you we can go down here to the quarry or you go up here and you go up and round and up to the other up to the other fields and the current woodland so this is like the main junction you could say so here we should be able to see yeah so you got we got one of the pipes here and then the water goes through there and under the road uh, and down so let's go and have a quick look over here. So yeah, we've got, um, this is the main drain by this bit of trackway. Uh, and then we just got a very small one on this side. So any water that falls on the trackway here, we'll go into this one. But anything that falls in the field will go into into this one, so it'll keep the, the trackway nice and dry. So yeah, and you can see here it's 
it's like the it's like a bund like a an earth bank down this side and that was just a safety thing to stop anyone who's on the road here or try and stop anyone if there's like a a mini accident anyone driving over the quarry edge because yeah we want to avoid uh anyone driving over the quarry for sure right let's um go and see what else we can find right so just on the the very south side of the quarry here you can just see that's over here uh, and this is the corner of the track and uh, so um they're currently stoned up until this point and then this bit up here is still to be done but as you're saying it's like getting quite churned up and it's quite it's quite wet so they're just wanting to leaving leaving want to leave it to dry out a little bit first and you can see this is one of this the buns still here so we're driving off into the quarry and as you can see it's pretty wet down there as well so there was a pipe here that came through here we don't actually know where it started from but it was sending more water into the quarry so that's kind of been stopped for the moment uh we have a potential to yeah we have a pipe actually just over here under the trackway which we might use if we want to take more water into the quarry and have like a waterfall over one of the 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 cliffs but at the moment we don't want any more water going in there because it's kind of really messy okay so just came to have a brief look at the quarry here as you can see it's super wet down there and this is they were the guys are just telling me it was even even wetter here yesterday there's this big kind of pool down here which they built up um to try and get rid of some of like what you guess you'd say is like slurry and yeah it's been a uh, pretty challenging to work down there it's just for some reason the drainage has all been affected and yeah it's a bit of a, a bit of a mess so we're actually having quite a long chat about how we can hopefully fix remedy that into the future but it's hard to it's hard to know until they put like a uh, like a temporary kind of drainage in so maybe that will work if it doesn't then we might need to put a, a bigger drain in just this if we're going to make use of this space in terms of a work area then we can't have it ending up with a, a big kind of muddy thing because underneath this mud is fairly solid so it's just but it's just every time you go over it even though it's fairly solid it's it's then releasing more the the fines which create this mud so yeah challenging <laughs> Right, the mist is cleared a bit, so you can now see what's going on. As you can see, actually, the mounding hasn't been done here yet. They were just telling me, the guys on site, that they're going to finish the, the trackway here uh, before before doing the mounds. The They're working up the hill at the moment, so this bit hasn't been stoned yet, but they are approaching here. You can see there's lots of coloured flags around here. So the, the orange ones show the, the edge of the, the trackway. The blue one show where we put in a, a a water pipe leading from the tank up here. The that is the existing tank, uh, and down into the quarry, so we can make use of fresh, hopefully fairly clean water in there if we need to. And the yellow ones are where the edge of the the mounds will be going. So, which almost follow the blue ones, but it does vary a little bit. Uh, so that means we're going to have a bit of a, a an edge to the to the trackway for for various reasons uh, but generally into the future when the trees are growing up both on the left hand side of the ditch uh, and to the right here to the that they're all gonna meet in in the middle so it will be kind of a, a continuous cover uh, canopy even over the trackway right so that's a pretty pretty short summary this week they're just saying that it's gonna be maybe another couple of weeks they could be on site the fencing will hopefully be then by the, will be delivered by then uh, and then like I was saying in a previous video hopefully by the middle of January the fence will be done and we can start planting the actual trees at the end of January don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're enjoying watching along and I'll catch you in the next video